solutions, reagents. Wonder what's cooking. Smells of... Uh, they were cooking Fistech. Took most of the equipment, only left what was broken. True as true can be. Dangerous trade narcotics. Open window. Boot print on the bed. Somebody was in a hurry. Footprints. Uneven. Someone ran through here. Stopped here for a second, hid, and ran on. forehead. Must be Clivert. Bolt in the back. Went in deep, so a close range shot. From the village, what that direction looks like. Crossbow bolt and footprints deep. Shooter must have been wearing heavy armor. Hoofprints leading towards the hill. Someone's still there. Move it!
What's this? Order of the Flaming Rose have a new seat? Not too shabby. You listen, Vagrant. Don't know why you're here, but take my advice. Go back to wherever you came from. So, why are you still standing there? I need to smash your plate in? Wondering what you got inside, because it reeks of fist tech to me. Mind if I have a look, brethren? Aye, we'd mind. Very much so. Enough of these games. I'm counting to three, and you're gonna be gone when I'm done. Got it? One, two... Got a better idea. You're all gonna count to a hundred. Got it? Three, four, five, six... Great start. Now step aside. Eight, nine, <clears throat> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, ten, ten. Twenty, idiot. Twenty-one. Who the devil are you? I'm a witcher, or as your brethren prefer to call me, a mutant, a freak. You shouldn't be in here. And Knights of the Flaming Rose shouldn't be murdering humans or producing drugs. True, we shouldn't. We're supposed to defend the downtrodden. Spread faith in the eternal fire. But Radovid tricked us. He broke his oath, sent our brethren to the front as common grunts, and once the mighty order was bled dry, he disbanded us. Took our lands, confiscated our domains to finance his war. The brethren who didn't object were appointed mage hunters. Those who took umbrage dared to stand up to him. Exiled. We're but a handful who still wear the colors. And we must find a new place in this world. So you turned rogue? That your idea? Wonder what Siegfried of Donnell would say. Siegfried of Donnell would. But how do you even. I know. You're Geralt of Rivia. Jack to Aldersburg's killer. None other. And if I had to go back, I'd do it again. That was the start of our downfall. You were the beginning. A cursed mutant. Draw your blade! No need to yell. Just ask politely.
shall be over soon. Here, Witcher, Witcher. Lost your nerve. That's it, Roach. Long live the king. Avenged your friend. <laughs> I knew you'd succeed, puss peepers. I knew it. Go on, out with it. Who was the bastard? Bastards. Brethren of the Order of the Flaming Rose. What do you do to them? Scald them with hot irons, pick out their eyes, skin them alive. No, just killed them. Oh, so handsome and so boring. Here, puss peeps, your gold. Ought to be enough for an ounce of panache. Come on. Hey! Oh! Ah! Everyone to me! To me! His Majesty King Radovid is still pass. in room. Hey there. Halt! You gotta pay the war levy. This again. Shut it and pay! This keeps happening, I'll end up funding Radovid's new infantry division. Don't you fret. Gods will reward your patriotism. Watch his Defeatism and desertion. <laughs> Beware, for you know not. 
Long live. Greetings. Is it herbs you seek? Medicines to mute a bashful maid's inhibitions? Or a concoction to raise your own courage for a second go? That it? No other weeds or brews? Aye. One to make your hair grow. Another to do the opposite. An easer of pain, a calmer of heartburn. Tell me what ails you. Know any advanced formulae? Maybe something you could teach me? All I know, I learned from Master Gremist of Skelliger. Looking to apprentice yourself in the herbalist trade? Nah, I just want to learn something new. Call it what you will. You must sail across the Great Sea. Find the Isle of Ard Skellig. There, in the sacred grove, the learned Master Gremist will judge whether you're fit to be his pupil. Hear about the contract. Whew. A taker at long last. Poverty in everyone's lips, but when you've a job to give, no one's eager. Folk are lazy, that's the truth of it. Stick to the point, if you don't mind. Uh, right, right, right. Sorry for the chatter. I, I'm anxious, is all. Been so long without any word. <sighs> it's my apprentice, Falkert. I sent him to the dead white wood. You know, the forest near Martin Foy's farmstead. I I'd run out of hand fiber, see, and the, the damned stuff grows thick as weeds there. Let me guess. Hasn't returned. Yes. Uh, uh, no, he hasn't. Please, find him and bring him back safe and sound. No promises, but I can certainly look for him. Any distinguishing features? How will I recognize him? <sighs> Got to think on that. Well, he's a, a halfling, as I am. A light hair. Will that do? It'll have to. So long. That's it, Roach. Herbalist's cart. Got some blood here. Blood. Dried. A few days old.
Trail's gone cold. Need to look around. Ask. Maybe someone's seen him. Stains, months old. Sharp now, <laughs> with company. What's brought you to these parts, Master? Lost your way? No, looking for someone. Ah, do tell. Perhaps we can help. What is this place, exactly? A village? Plain to see. Abandoned huts is about all I see. Aye. It's only us now. Young folk have gone off to the city seeking work. And the old have all died. Ain't that right, Judd? Right as rain. Blood stains in the hut next door. Know anything about that? Aye, of course. Judd guts game in there. In someone else's hut? None live there no more, see? And working neath the roof, it's more pleasant, civilized. Rain don't whip and sun don't blind. But why poke your nose in there to start with? You better to give an old couple some peace. Looking for someone named Fulkert. Light haired halfling. Ring any bells? Aye. Saw a little one round here. Out picking herbs. Mm-hmm. Till he got hurt. Ran across a trail of blood. Trail led me here. It is just as you say. Wolves had attacked him. He fled here seeking shelter. I told him. Back to your city, young master. Plenty such dangers hereabouts. But the fool was stubborn. Said he had to pick his blooms aforehand. Back into the woods. And that were the last of him. Heard owling that night. Sent shivers down my spine. So where are his remains? Wolves would have left something. His boots, maybe. Didn't go looking. But he's too old to go tramping about in the woods. So long. Let me have a look. Folkert, your apprentice. I know what happened to him. Out with it. I've gone near daft with worry. Found some witnesses. Claim wolves attacked him. He survived at first, then went back in the woods to harvest more herbs. His luck ran out. Ah, a treasure, that lad. Dutiful, mannered. Such a shame. Well, here's your gold. And I trust it will serve you well.
Leave her alone. Why is that? Want us to plow you? Is that it? Doable, but you'll have to hide that mug in a sec. Let the woman go. Then we can flirt. Look at that! Vagrant Mutt's giving us orders. Needs to know his place. Fuck him up. Since you're in for it. I'd have managed on my own, but thank you. You'd have managed it? Managed those men by yourself? Of course. Knee to the bollocks, elbow to the throat. Job done. Walk you home? Hey now. I'm grateful, sure, but I'll not demonstrate that in the alcove. Walk you home, that's it. Hmm. In that case, yes. Come. Master Witcher, do you always help folk for free? Sometimes for free, usually for pay. Phew, I was afraid you were abnormal. Choked to death on three pounds of steel. Here it is. Really, you needn't have troubled yourself. Mm hmm, forgot. Could have managed it on your own. Well, don't let me get in your way. Farewell. Are you a witch? I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. A box and an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Like at a toad-shaped medal? The army's don't got any medal like that. Geralt? Are you all right? What's that on your face? Long story. <clears throat> We're conducting important business. You can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. Tasty number, that medic. Not like a scholar at all. Interesting. Curious to know, what do scholars look like to your mind? All that reading's hard on the eyes, right? So they wear spectacles. No oh, eye. Thick ones, propped on wrinkled noses, and their clothing frumpy at best. Who've they got to dress up for? The books? Fascinating, really. But if I were you, I'd make sure no medic ever overhears you. Huh? Why's that? Because when you get caught in a battle, she might just refuse to stitch you back up. You're a lucky bastard, with you? We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it too, eh? Sorry, none of your business. Come on. This some kind of secret? You embarrassed? She's quite fetching and you're, well, none too handsome, but a witcher. Asses like your type. Come now, fess up. You fancy her or not? It'd take a blind man to shrug and turn away. Too true. Meantime, you witches have got especially sharp senses. <laughs> Here's the medicine. It's a strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. 
At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. I thank you. In Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Nilfgaardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Edernian, Elves, Dwarves, Halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Aside from the incident in the sewers, we last saw each other. Hmm, must have been in Bezima. Yes. Yes. When it was ravaged by the Catriona. Feels like a century ago. Where have you been? What have you been doing since? Well, I left Vizima and returned to Oxenfurt, proceeded to finish my doctorate, and then opened a practice. Shortly thereafter, war broke out, and I was press ganged into the Redanian Medical Corps. So what now? Radovid's dead. But the war's not over yet. The chaos continues. I'm still very much needed. Though, I can't complain. At least I live at home now, and I treat the ill, as is my calling. Though I must always be ready, for at any time the Redanians might knock with some painfully urgent assignment. Shani, I need your help this time. Mm, I'd guess this wasn't a social call. All right, tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? And you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Hmm, where do I start? All right. Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad. And this toad was actually a prince. And Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri duchess. It's the truth. I'm colored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a maid showed up, captured me. Man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? Met him a while back in White Orchard. At the time, he claimed he dealt in mirrors. Mirrors? Buy one from him that grants your wishes? Something like that. He helped me out of a bind. Now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorceress or necromancy involved. Gave me this. Concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a sensor, too. That can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Neither do I, but I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Mm. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarchs or Famous Rudanian Dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estiken, Von Everek. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the sensor? We can meet at the entrance.
Long live Radovid! Long live acceptance. Fuck. Never seen this side of you. What side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? Used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials, often covered in blood. Well, that's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now. Waiting for you, weaving a garland for the wedding. A wedding? Whose? A dear friend's from the Academy. Speaking of which, would you go with me? Sure, why not? Wonderful. So, it's a date. Remember to bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Let's go. The tome was spot on. This is impressive. Yeah. Too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. Ooh, that looks just a little too creepy for me. Don't have to come if you don't want. Wait here. I like that idea. If there's any trouble, just yell. This is no crypt. It's a folk little mausoleum. Fifty. 
Alexei, age 19, beloved son and brother. Hmm, probably shouldn't touch that. Vladimir von Everek, son of Bohumil and Christina. There you are, now for the ritual. Gotta spread the incense throughout the crypt, every room. Life and death, fire and blood. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Return, and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Return, and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Life and death, fire and blood. Time to light the votive fire. Fire and blood, life and death, I summon ye, whose blood I have brought. Fire and blood, life and death. You have summoned me, stranger. Why? Name's Geralt. Came to wake the ghost of Vladimir von Everek. Who you are, and why you've come matter little. For you'll not leave this place alive. Are you Vlad's ghost? Who asks after my grandson? It matters not, Honoratina. What I wonder is how this mortal obtained the family's blood. For Von Everick's rise only for Von Everick blood. True. Yet to my knowledge, only one of our line yet lives. Olgird. Then we converse with the man who spilled the blood of your grandson, Kestetis. Mean none of you are Vladimir? It's Olgird, his brother, who sent me. You will meet Vlad soon enough. Yet Olgird, you will never see again. Death! Death take! Kill him, Von Everix! For Olgird's blood. Sons, those von Emmerich, eh? Who are you? The rogue you seek. Vladimir von Everick, brother to Olgird. Ah, oh, forgot I cannot even scratch my stones. Though in point of fact, they've not itched much since I died. Didn't want to fight your family. They started. I'm dead, not blind. I preferred to see how you'd handle those snobby pricks. And Grandmum, too. Besides, what harm could you do them? They're dead as it is. Now tell me how you came into Old Geard's blood. If you hurt him, I fear I shall have to kill you. Got it from a mutual acquaintance of mine and old Geard's. I'm here on business. I'm a swithing corpse, with no interest in important matters, yours or any other buggers. The sole thing I miss is feasting, corporal diversion, so to speak. But alas... 
Get a lot of visitors? At times, not often. For when someone does drop by, the whole band comes out to play. Fun-loving family. True! We're famed for our love of revelry and rumbles. We von Everichs have brawled and raided for generations. It's tradition. Naturally, with raids comes loot, so we always had the means to celebrate right lavishly. Towards the end of my life was when things went sour. But no point poking at old wounds. Just days before I died, my brother claimed he'd found a way to dig us out, restore our state. Your brother sent me. How is the old rogue? He, what I wouldn't give to ride by his side again. No chance of that happening. Could experience something else, though. Something a corpse should find interesting. Interesting? Out with it. What do you have in mind? Listen, feels like I should know Old Geard better. Tell me something about him. Oh, fantastic chap. A true cavalier. You won't find another like him in all Redania. The best there is for a drink or a brawl. We were pups when we started riding out on raids. Wet behind the ears. Borderland villagers shat their trousers at the very sound of the word Olgeard. I was his second in command, leading a band of rogues who'd ride through fire for us. Sound like common bandits. Any difference? Us? Bandits? Watch your words. True, some of our swordsmen were mindless brawlers, but not Olgeard. Always curious, took an interest in all things. He devoured books, adored paintings, and loved the most beautiful maid in the world. Don't mean to pry, but just a little curious how you died. Ah! No need to be shy. Folk love such stories. I'd love this one too, were it not to end with my death. So how'd it happen? On raids, it was our custom to storm the alderman's hut, and then order the local clods to bring us kegs of spirit. And provide willing wenches to squeeze and churn about. Then, sadly, an ambush. Outmanned five to one. We were overwhelmed. They killed me. Crushed my skull like an eggshell between an upturned oak table and the stone floor. Listen, Olgir gave me a job. Odd as it may sound, I need to show you the time of your life. Is that so? Now that, sir, is a brother. I've been dead for years, yet he still looks after me, after my spirits. How much time do we have? Think one night should do the trick? Splendid. Wait just a moment while I hoist my saber and... What the blistering devils! You're a ghost. Can't grab things. Oh, I keep forgetting. But how am I to revel and rock and fuck? Can't lift a tankard to my lips. Can't wield a saber. Can't squeeze a wench as we dance a jig. Guess you'll have to do without. Let's go. I will go nowhere. You're to see I enjoy myself, correct? Well, then think of a way to make it possible. How? Revive my flesh. No can do. Besides, body's probably decomposed. Then bloody come up with another way. I'll not go anywhere in this state. Come on, we're wasting time. I'm not to waste time. Sir, time is all I've left. You this big a pain in the ass when you were alive, too? Do not anger me, boy. If I but one night 
I want to revel properly, not watch others enjoy themselves. So what do you propose? I've an idea. Oh no, not gonna happen. Oh yes. Yes, it is. Geralt, 